Yo Sanding Dogs, welcome to your 7th CSS animation tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at the animation direction property. <laughs> Alright then gang, so so far we've made this little animation where Mario just keeps on cycling round and round and round and round. Now I want to look at the, uh, the animation direction property but I'm not going to change Mario because he's quite happy just going round and round. So we're going to use our other buddy Luigi. And we first need to add him into the HTML. So I've just gone into the index file and underneath this Mario image, I'm just going to place another image and it's going to be a class of Luigi. And then the source of that image is going to be image forward slash Luigi dot PNG like so. And then hopefully he should appear on the page. Cool. Currently, Mario is running over his head, so let's just stand him up a little bit. So I'm just going to come under Mario and say dot Luigi, and I'm going to give him a position of absolute, and then I'll set his top position to be about 100 pixels, so he comes down into the second lane, and Mario is no longer running over him. Uh, left, I'm going to set to zero as well, and uh, that will do. So. Now what I want to do is set up another animation on this dude so that he does the same thing, but he's going to reverse. So we don't need to set up another keyframes right here and say reverse or anything like that. We can just use the animation direction property and we can say that we want him to reverse backwards. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and add in the animation name first of all, animation hyphen name, and it's still going to be the same one, drive, and the animation duration is going to be a bit slower because when you're reversing it's always a little slower so I'll say do it over five seconds instead of three uh, the animation fill hyphen mode is going to be both again because we want it to stay at the end or go to the start at the beginning and then we want to say animation iteration hyphen count is going to be infinite again as well all right, so currently they're both going forward, but Mario's going a bit quicker, right? Now we want to make Luigi reverse. So how do we do this? We say animation hyphen direction, right? And the direction can be alternate, alternate reverse, normal or reverse. So currently it's just normal. This is it. It's going from this point here from two. But we can change this to reverse and that's going to make him go backwards now. So now he's reversing around the track over and over again. It just goes from this point to this point instead of this point to this point. So that's pretty cool. But you probably saw some other options we had as well. You can see we've got alternate reverse, alternate, and we've seen normal and reverse. So let's just try alternate, right? So now what happens is he goes forwards, then he should come backwards after a while. There we go, we see him come backwards. So what it does, alternate, is it starts and it goes from to, and then it goes to from, then it goes from to, then it goes to from. So it's alternating the direction. And we can have alternate hyphen reverse, which does the same thing, but it's just starting here, and it goes to from, then it comes back, then it comes back, then it comes back. So it's doing the same thing, but it's just starting at a different position. It starts in the reverse mode and then goes forward, right? So let's just keep him on reverse at the minute, just going backwards around the track. And uh, there we go, guys. We have changed the direction of the animation without having to create a new keyframe set to do so. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, then. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.